everyone, Uncle Jesse here. A week ago, I made a video showing off resin 3D printing articulating action figures, and I'm absolutely loving these, but I'm also loving all of the other amazing articulating 3D prints that are out there, specifically around figurines. So we have things like Wexter's Jabba the Hutt that has an articulating tail that you can find over on his Patreon. You also have crazy articulating 3D prints by Hex 3D like his Eddie the Eel. Now, what I think I found is the ultimate set of articulating action figures and it's created by La Caviera and is available over on Cults 3D. This person has made some amazing articulating action figures that you typically see back in the 80s or even the 90s and has recreated a number of those that you can run off and 3D print. And we're gonna be doing that exactly here today and testing them out and seeing how well they actually 3D print and if they're gonna articulate. And I've gone off and purchased a few of them here that I'm gonna be running off in 3D printing, like this Leonardo action figure, as well as this Skeletor action figure from the classic He-Man toys. Now, both of these are actually toys that I used to own as a kid which is very, you know, it's very nostalgia driven for me. So very excited to run off and 3D print these over on the Elgoon Neptune 2. And I have to say, my first attempt at these did not exactly go as planned. Now these files come pre-supported, which is great. So it makes the process of actually getting these up and printing very easy. However, one of the support pillars came loose on both of the figures and ended up causing print failures for both of these files. But the good news is I could kind of chalk this up to being a test to see if they would actually articulate and very happy to see that the arms freely move and the legs freely move as well, other than obviously where the arms busted free from their supports. So of course I needed to run off and try and 3D print those again. And by the way, I am using some settings that are recommended by La Caviera at printing at 1.2 millimeter layer height. I think I'm using a 12% infill. I'm printing at a 60 millimeters per second print speed as well. Uh, don't need to use any additional supports for these and it's printing pretty dang good. And for the second set of prints, I added a brim around the perimeter of the prints, which is gonna allow it to adhere better to the build plate and not necessarily come as loose as easily during the print process. And here's our Leonardo Ninja Turtle 3D print on the Elgu Neptune S. I printed this in some Ziltec green PLA and it took six hours and 52 minutes to print. And I'm happy to say that the brim did its job perfectly, held down the prints, no print failure issues whatsoever. And let's get it popped off the build plate here. I should be able to yeah, just pull it right off of there. And for the support removal, we should be able to just, yep, poke those right off. Oh my goodness, the one under his uh, groin there is pretty tight. Let's see, I don't wanna break his hand. And then for the brim, you can just peel that right away from the print itself. And it should pop right off, depending on what your, your settings were for your brim. And you can always just trim that up with your little uh, snippers as well. I can't believe how well this prints on the Neptune 2S at that 0.12 layer height. And it's super clean, really, really clean looking print. And again, I'm loving how well these articulates. This reminds me exactly of the toys that I used to play with. When I was a kid, like eight, nine, 10 years old, I think is when the toys originally came out back in the late 80s, when I was just a wee little kid watching Ninja Turtles on TV and would have never imagined in a million years that I could run off and make my own Ninja Turtles. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. He needs his swords. The files also come with two katanas that come pre-supported as well that you can run off and 3D print. I think this only took like an hour to 3D print both of these, which is pretty good. And the supports are fairly easy to get off from the back of the swords. Again, everything is pre-supported as well. And the katanas fit in the back holders. <laughs> of Leonardo's costume here. This is so cool that they actually slide perfectly in there as well as you can put them obviously in his ninja loving hands here is able to grip onto the swords so that you can have some ninja fighting action. And I also reprinted Skeletor on the standard Elgu Neptune 2 in this Jesse purple PLA from Printed Solid. Again, 
Another fantastic looking print. Use those brims that helped everything adhere properly to the 3D prints. And yeah, this one, the supports removed super easy from it. The tolerance must just be a little bit thicker on the supports versus the Ninja Turtle one, but still looking really good. And the brim, I'm able to just peel this one off. Again, I can always just trim it up if need be. And the articulation on this Skeletor works just as well as that initial test did. And it took six hours and 22 minutes to print a little bit quicker than the Ninja Turtle just because it's a little bit shorter. And no He-Man Skeletor figure is complete without his own little goat skull staff thing that he has as a weapon that he came with as a toy. So I couldn't leave well enough alone and not run off and try and print some of his other files. So I went and picked up his Geodude figure that I was able to print on the Elgu Neptune 2 with a 0.6 millimeter nozzle. So it prints a little bit chunkier and it prints a whole lot faster. I believe this was an hour and 20 minute print for the 100% scale version of the Geodude and articulates beautifully. And as a test, I had to run off and print it even larger at 200% scale. This was an eight hour print with that 0.6 millimeter nozzle. And the details again, look fantastic on this and fully articulating. I know they don't recommend scaling up these figures because it's gonna lose some of the articulation control, but I think in this case, it still works really well. And speaking of scaling it up by 200%, I went off and 3D printed that Leonardo figure at 200% scale. At 200% scale, this thing took 16 hours to 3D print with that 0.6 millimeter nozzle at 0.2 millimeter layer height. And this should be a really fun <laughs> print that I can have up on display. Ooh, and those, oh, look at that. Look how easy those brims just pop right off. All right, let's get the groin piece off here. It's a little tight. The tolerances again. Oh, there we go. This is so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna have to figure out how I can print the swords for this as well. I did not print those yet, but this looks fantastic with that 0.6 millimeter nozzle. And yeah, all of the articulation points. I was nervous it wasn't gonna catch or maybe the overhangs were gonna be too great, but no, it's, it's working just fine here. But here's the standard scale versus the 200% scale and quite a bit difference in the sizing of these two. So I know what you're all thinking, Uncle Jesse, you love resin. Can you print those in resin? I don't know, but I attempted it here on the Elgu Mars 3. <laughs> Uh, let me get some gloves on. This looks so cool and I'm tempted to not even take it off of the supports and clean it up just because how amazing this looks. And actually it looks like there's resin or we could call it ooze. It's the turtle ooze trapped inside the print. I hollowed this out in Cheetu box and removed those uh, original supports that came with the file and added my own pre-supported to it. I also added some drain holes in specific places and then just supported the swords here and everything's looking really, really good on this particular print and interesting to see if it'll actually articulate once we get it off and the supports removed. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe this is actually articulating freely. This moves so smoothly and looks really friggin' cool. I can't get over how amazing this clear Ninja Turtle looks here. That was printed on the Elgu Mars 3 and Elgu's ABS-like resin and just looks fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I'm not actually gonna go through the process of cleaning this because I wanna know down below if you have suggestions on how best I can achieve this glossy look and finish that I have currently with the Ninja Turtle. Let me know down below because I wanna do a follow-up YouTube short here next week showing off how I use one of your suggestions on actually finishing this guy off. So let me know down below how you'd like to see me finish this to achieve this ultra clear look. I also wanted to say a huge thank you to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. They make those amazing Elgu Neptune series of 3D printers. They are my absolute go-to 
FDM 3D printers that I'm using these days, I have an entire fleet of those that I've purchased over the last handful of months. I'm absolutely loving that machine and it's primarily what I use for all of my Etsy orders. So if you're interested in one of those 3D printers, I'll have links to it down below. I also highly recommend their Elgu Mars 3 resin 3D printer. As you saw in this video, it prints phenomenally, especially some of those tiny, tiny details that you like to pick up with your resin 3D printers. So if you're interested in any more information on any of Elgu's products that I've shown off in today's video, you'll find links to those down below. I wanna say a huge thank you again to Elgu for sponsoring today's video. And speaking of the Neptune series of printers, make sure to stick around for next week. I'll be posting a pretty wild video on my Neptune 2 printer setup. Well, I'm in the process of setting it up anyways. I wanna say a big thank you to La Caviere for creating and sharing these files that you can pick up over on Colts 3D. He even has a free file that you can run off and download of the Holland spider person or whatever it is that he called it over there, which I thought was pretty creative, that you can try and print for yourself that'll show off some of those articulation joints. And as you can see, I am clearly in love with articulating 3D prints. So if you have any other file suggestions that I haven't run off and printed just yet, let me know down below because I am all ears and loving printing anything that basically can print and move. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you're interested in any of my resin 3D printer profile settings, you can find those in my Patreon. And recently I've started sharing some behind the scene videos that you'll get access to as well. They're showing some inside look at a big upcoming project that I'm working on. Hey, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now. I love how thick the sound. Look at, you hear that? You hear that? That's some really thick articulating plastic on top of each other.